guys, I am JC Carias. And I am Chris Cope. And welcome to another episode of Impaired. We are your co-hosts and we are an Oreo cookie of getting fucked up. I'm an alcoholic, he's a pothead. <laughs> and what we like to do is bring our buddies on and then what do we do, bud? We play a bunch of fun games, we get a bunch of people fucked up and then we have a great old time. Let's do it, man. Let's bring out our guests. Cheers. Cheers. Ow! This comedy powerhouse hails from the Sunshine State. Don't let the pigtails fool you, cause she's a killer on stage and the small screen. You've seen her on Snowfall and Dear White People. And she does all this while making her parents very proud. From Fort Myers, Florida, let's welcome Tissa Dosani. <laughs> Standing a mighty 14 feet and 11 inches tall with hair so dirty blonde it looks like it was kissed by the mighty Zeus himself. He has appeared on The Tonight Show, The Late Late Show, and his one hour special live in Venice recently released. This gentle giant hails from Vancouver, British Columbia. Give it up for Lachlan Patterson! It's not that dirty. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Impaired. Here we are with our guests, Lachlan and Fizz, everybody. Hey, welcome, right? Hey guys. Hey, yeah, come on. Welcome to our show. We're so happy Thanks, to have guys. you on. Thank you for spending your uh, late afternoon with us. Yeah, and also being willing to get intoxicated at this hour of yeah. the day, which is nice. I feel like we're almost there. We've, kind of, we've been kind of pre-gaming a little bit. Yeah, so. knocking out a fun Thursday. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Sweet. about. Sweet. Uh, all right, well, uh, first off, let me go ahead and break down the, uh, one of the games that runs the entire length of the show. It's called Secret Word. Mm -hmm. And basically the, the production team has picked up, uh, found a word that uh, we may use frequently, but we don't know what it is. And if one of us says it by chance, we will hear the phrase, Alabaster. When you hear alabaster, that means uh, the secret word has been said, and you got to stop what you're doing and drink and or smoke. Mm -hmm. And to that, I think before we get the show started, we should cheers. Hey, yeah. Thank you cheers guys for coming on. Cheers. cheers. What are we cheersing to? Just each hey, other. Just being on the show. All right. To each other. To each other. Oh, Cheer. Lord. To, to you guys. That was good. That was solid. So this is backwash? But no. I mean, not really. Well, well, Your backwash. Yeah, mine's backwash. Your own backwash. Yeah, they, we were supposed to. Right, because she started drinking before the camera. And, but and I, we were but like, they no, caught no. me and I, I spit it back in. Mm -hmm. and You I did that for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, get that out of she's here. She's committed. <laughs> that's what it is. It's that's commitment that's to the a guest we like to have. Cheers again with an empty Hey, I, I'm going to say that I did a pretty goddamn good job with that. It was not good. It was good. No, that was a good shot. I was very. I'll very probably make, I'm going to make another one. I, I feel I bad. I, I feel bad I didn't have any. Well, you declined. And they don't it. know that I just don't, I don't drink the hard oh. stuff. That's he okay. He drinks beer. He smokes. He's a, he's a man. I mean, <laughs> well, he, did you have to clarify man. that for everyone? I don't know. He's I just, a man. I love oh, man. the death. So, like, the last time you drank, you ended up in the shower. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, your clothes ended up in the shower, yeah. and you were not in the shower. I walked into the bathroom, and the clothes were in the shower, and I looked up, and I had a hospital bracelet on, and I had no idea why. Oh, my right. God. And so... And I, did your girlfriend fill in the blanks? She did. Right. So yeah. what happened? What were the blanks? I was an ass. I don't, <laughs> you know what's even worse is there is recorded footage of the oh, set I performed no. drunk somewhere, and I'm humiliated. And like, uh, uh, wow. Conan was there, uh, the, the booker for Conan. Oh no, JP the was there. DJ Puser, <laughs> the Comedy Central bookers were there. Why'd you get so drunk then? It was part of the show, just like this show. Oh no, oh, no. no. It was, it's a trigger. You get a car home after this, so there's no consequence. Right, and also the booker from Conan probably won't be watching this. Okay, good. JP, tune out now. <laughs> it's the same old thing again. If it's more than five minutes, he won't watch it. <laughs> Good. Absolutely. All right. All right. You want to jump into the first thing, man? Yeah, the first segment we're going to do is called Hometown Harassment. What we do is, is we look up uh, fun facts, uh, or not so fun facts, about our guest's hometown. Yeah. Fizza, you are from Jupiter, Florida, so I think I'll no. start. Oh, Fort Myers. Yeah. Fort Myers. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> can, can you took such yeah. offense. Interrupt. That's Interrupt. so funny, because like Florida people, when you shit on Florida, 
No, a lot Ford's of people... interrupting you. Interrupt, oh, bud. You didn't do the password or the secret word. We don't, we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. How do we not? Why would we know? You got to say it randomly. Because it happens through conversation. Or, uh, Organic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's going to be paranoid about it the whole you're, time. You're a good showrunner. <laughs> I thought we were the ones who knew what it was, and no. then we'd accidentally say it still. No. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, right. it's it's whether or not we get it or not. Uh, okay, right. go ahead. Back to what you were doing. Um, <laughs> well, no, it's funny because like uh, people shit on the state of Florida, but they don't realize that inside the state of Florida there is a city hierarchy. So when I said Jupiter, she's like, oh fuck no, no, no. She's from no, Fort no, Myers. No. That's a bougie ass town. They have a <laughs> fucking uh, feather factory. Do you know you have a fancy <laughs> feather factory in Fort Myers, Florida? How do you, I thought feathers were natural. No, if you want a purple ostrich feather, you got to go to a fucking fancy factory. You got to make that. So do you think that they actually make feathers there? Or yes. Do you think that they just take feathers that? What do you think? It's some large ass in... property with birds running around? No, they. Or, well, they, they, they you think there's it. a fake factory at Fort? <laughs> <laughs> fake factory. It's a fake feather factory. Well, Say that 15. Or that they're just dyeing the feathers or preparing them to look different. Prepare you the feathers. Like Prepare the, for the feather, feather industry. That's how they open every morning on the factory floor. Welcome, everyone. Prepare <laughs> the feathers. <laughs> That's what every meeting is just a plucking of a feather. Now we can commence. <laughs> Poor birds. <laughs> of course you'd say that. Um, no, did I, I, this is something I didn't realize. Uh, Fort Myers, over anywhere in the United States, gets yeah. the most days of sunshine. Really? really? Yeah. I, I Why was I so depressed? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. That was, were you depressed growing up? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, a person of color having a hard time in Florida? Get out. Yeah. Oh, no. 9-11. <laughs> um, oh, no, that was yeah. Wonder yeah. Years Did there. Did you get blamed for that? Oh, yeah, God. every really? day. <laughs> really? Every day. Oh, every day? Every day. Somebody was blaming you yeah. for 9-11? That Stop was legit terrorists. hometown harassment. Yeah, I Like, know. we're having fun now. I don't even want to say the third thing. <laughs> I just want to move on because you just brought up such some bad shit. No, man, it's all good. Hey, man. I mean, no, it's not good. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Mean, it's bad. We're all going to die. Don't blame Fizza for 9-11, guys. Not my fault. Stop it. It's not her fault. I was in 11th grade in math class. <gasps> did I just age myself? I you just ah! did. You just aged yourself. I'll never work again. <laughs> <laughs> so Fizza was born in 1983. <laughs> <laughs> It's just funny though. Hilarious. Is there one more fact, or are you yeah, going to move is. on because of this 9/11 debacle? I, well, we've no, I, I, there's uh, well, you know, there's one quick thing, and grown I grown ass I, woman. I know it. Did you know Fort Myers was the first city in Florida to have electricity? No. Because oh, Thomas Ed Edison, I knew he Edison lived there. lived there. But your town was a bunch of piece of shits who hated progress. They complained of course. because it, it it kept the cows up. Well, you know, some pe it's just just like today. Like, some people don't so, like progress. So this whole them blaming you for 9-11 is starting to make a lot of sense. Yeah, I really Your town don't. has a lot of judgment issues. It's, isn't it great when someone else learns everything about your town and <laughs> judges you for it? <laughs> no, that's the entire segment, Lachlan. That's, that's the whole segment. I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, that's it, what, it, we're going to do, do stuff for you next. Yeah. Yeah, Start telling you about your city? <laughs> um, Talking about my city? Yeah. Now, the next part of our segment is... Uh, I want you to look dead in that camera, and I want you, you're the travel agent for Fort Myers, Florida. Oh, God. I need you to pitch the people that may be on the fence about coming to Fort Myers and tell them why they should come. I mean, if you're on the fence, fall the other way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're good. You are good. I mean, there's an international airport. Oh. Yeah. But you still probably won't get a direct flight. <laughs> you can get a direct flight to Germany. Whoa. You can. They, they love Why is that? They love Fort Myers in the winter. Fort oh, Myers, man. if you don't know any better, I'm sorry, I'm talking to you guys. If you Dude. don't know any better, you can tolerate it. It's just like, you know, if you grow up, like... <laughs> How do I say this so it's not... You know what? If you're planning to come to Fort Myers, ask yourself something. Is there somewhere else I can go? <laughs> <laughs> there it is, Fort Myers, Florida, everybody. That is a hard pass. From That's Fizzle. a hard pass <laughs> from Fizzle to Sonny. Chris is burning himself. I love himself. the people. Shit. Uh. I'm just kidding. She doesn't like the people. I you know, heard I love it them. Here I love. She mouthed that she didn't. Someone is never going to be able to do a hometown show. We're exposing it here. I'm, from I'm doing the card thing because oh. John did it good on that other episode. <laughs>
I liked it. They fuck up my mic. Well, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get out of here, bud. I know. I'm, I'm gonna go for my. <laughs> oh yeah, you should visit it. You have just. You, she's been you, uh, persuading is there, you. Is there a comedy club there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, laughing. Laughing comedy cafe. And then in Naples, there's off the, um, hook. Off the hook. Yeah. How about in Jupiter? I've always wanted to. I've never on. been to Jupiter. I've never been to Jupiter. <laughs> Except, I mean. On accident, just a minute no. ago. Do you want to I get know. to Jupiter? Um, <laughs> Very ambitious naming your city at Jupiter. Right, after Look, a goddamn planet. I just know right? it's actually named after yeah. the Roman. Go we'll talk about this in another episode. One of our guests is actually. Are you actually trying to jump out of this Jupiter conversation to make sure it's fresh at another time? He's no, a pretty, like, that's a professional named, host it's named right after there, guys. The, uh, the Roman god. He's trying to bail out of Zeus. It's in the Zeus. <laughs> who was the, do don't eat the material. <laughs> I don't want to waste this. No, uh, it's named the Roman Fuck. god for uh, the Roman version of Z Greek Zeus is Jupiter. That's what it's named after, the Roman Zeus. I like that name. Chris does all of our research, everybody, and that's I what I really time. like that. All right, Lachlan, Talk to you me. were from Talk Vancouver. To me, yeah, dude. British Columbia, my man. I am. Let's see what we got here. It is the 10th cleanest city. Tenth in the cleanest? world. Uh, Tenth cleanest. We got to tidy it up, Vancouver. There it is. <laughs> Clean <laughs> your shit up. up, man. Ten, you could be nine place. by next year. Also, um, home <coughs> to the world's largest swimming pool. The world's largest swimming pool? The world's largest swimming yeah, pool it's it's fucking is in Vancouver. This is news to me. Yeah. Who's I mean, interesting? I like how Canadians are... Oh, no, talk to our research guy. I've been <laughs> in the swimming pool. You've been in the swimming pool? <laughs> Dude, I just went to the swimming pool. Is I it was... called the swimming pool? Well, it's it's where the, uh, the Olympic... Um, I had to go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom, and I was driving, and I found this... Not a good start facility. for going to a swimming pool. By the way, the, no one think about it. No one's gonna notice. Go it's ahead, the go world's ahead. biggest. It's so big. Bathroom signs should be out on the outside of all buildings. Agreed. Don't you think there's like from the street where you can drive by and see the bathrooms? Anyway, <laughs> it's neither here nor there. It is. <laughs> I agree with it. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm familiar. This is a pool that was built for the Olympics, I'm assuming? I don't know. Talk to our research man right here who is was built for heavily the... hitting a bong right now. <laughs> For the Olympic Village and all that. <laughs> so that's the one I went in, and it was brand new. I'd never seen it before since I moved. It was like had, pristine. It's huh? brand new. It's, yeah. wow. and the funny thing is, the pictures that I saw of it, because I looked it up after I read that, and I mean, it's just so fucking big and blue. It, I mean, it looks like you want to dive from like an airplane into it and like and land safely. You know? I have a joke that uh, that professional swimming is the hardest sport because it's the only sport where you have no idea how you're doing while you're doing it. Because <laughs> you're, you're just head down going. You're just swimming and hoping, and then yeah. you touch the end of the pool, and some guy you've never met goes, you were fifth. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, how do you know? Well, we watched the race. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. I was splashing. You were doing a good job. You were a swimmer. People say I should have been a swimmer. I have a swimmer's body, yeah. and I'm always like, that just sounds... Standing 11 feet tall, I mean, I think you would give you an advantage. Alabaster. 11 feet tall? <laughs> Alabaster. Tall. Tall? Alabaster. Hey, right. Oh, we found it. That was early, guys. But yeah. you said it like six times. I know. Well, we had to kind of... Well, we had to you find out, you know? So we have to drink six times? We're real loose around here with the rules, so... Um, I, you know, alabaster is a much more uncommon word. I, the, the word That's why it's never alabaster. Right. Okay. Right, because if, if it was alabaster, we'd never say it. Tall. That's not true. Tall. I really want to tall dance it. out of my kitchen in alabaster. <laughs> Wait, was it not tall? Respect the game. Alabaster. Okay, it was tall. Tall, okay. yeah. <laughs> alabaster. Tall. Alabaster. It's not a doorbell, you Jesus. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a weird one. Um... The sushi California roll was actually invented in Vancouver. That's crazy. Why? <laughs> Why would that be? Imitation crab, man. Is we, that what it is? We, we do a good it. imitation of crab. <laughs> About that imitation crab in Vancouver. You know, the imitation crab is just a fish that sits at really low at the sea, and then when other fish come around the corner, he comes out and goes, Who am I doing? <laughs> Who's this? Nobody? That was killer. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, it's weird. Oh, fuck, that I, I think me. when you put California next to anything, it just makes it sound <coughs> fresh. 
Oh, it's California. So it's now it's official. Also, it's like the avocado thing too. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why. I think that's San what it is. What's Santa Fe? What's the, anything with Santa Fe? Oh, and has uh, spicy mayo. Corn, corn yeah. sometimes, and black, black beans. Black beans. Little we'll tortillas. Spicy yep. mayo. There it is. Santa Fe. What would be like the Vancouver roll? Oh, salmon. Fog? Salmon. salmon. Oh, salmon. It's, it's Salmon's salmon. big, yeah. Fuck yeah. No farm salmon, by the way. Don't eat farm salmon. Why not? It's not good for you. It's Nothing's good for you. You're drinking a Heineken. Nothing's good for you. I mean, True. I think Don't that the farm salmon's worse than the Heineken, maybe, huh? I think the salmon, uh, farm salmon's worse because it has bacteria in it. Right. And uh, you know that. Fuck you, farm salmon. You know that. <laughs> right? Yeah, get the wild stuff. Get the stuff. Get that the, shit wild. In the crazy videos. You ever <laughs> see those salmon gone wild? They no. Just, oh, that's going a, against the stream. Just partying all night. <laughs> <laughs> Biting the bears. Just getting into it. Just trying to eat the bears. <laughs> That's when they used you to You imagine being whiskey. a bear standing in a river and your <laughs> meal is just trying to, to jump to its next. <laughs> <laughs> and that bear is a video game villain. It just it is. like, well, you have to jump to the next stream. It's the big boss. All right, Lachlan. Why, why, are, we going, why are we going to Vancouver, Oh, man? you got to go to it, Vancouver, dude. guys. Tell us right ahead. You have to go to Pitch Vancouver. Em. It is the most beautiful city in the world. Ooh. And uh, you can swim and ski in the same day. Wow. In Vancouver, if you want to. That's fucking amazing. You can go for a bicycle ride around the whole city along the seawall. It's beautiful. One time I went around the seawall, and right in front of me, right in the path, the size of the, of the boardwalk at the beach, was a full-size bald <laughs> eagle with a salmon on it in its talons just eating it. <laughs> And just majestic just, as fuck. Just, and everyone just stopped, and we all just watched this salmon eat. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Sorry. Just got... right in the backswing of this lovely story about a bald eagle <laughs> in the wild hunting a wild salmon, yeah. not a farm It just salmon. kept coming out. That's true. That does do that when you suck on it. <laughs> you know what, you son of a bitch? <laughs> oh, I'm finish that for you. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Well, I know eagle. where I was, and it's where you should be, in Vancouver, B.C., Canada. And while you're at it, hop on a ferry and check out our capital, Victoria. Beautiful city. Cobblestone roads, and go on a whale watching tour, get to see the whales. Fuck. I want to go to I want to go to I went to Vancouver, Vancouver and all I went there was a subway. Like a subway. I guess this, one of the cleanest This is why you're not hosting a fucking travel show. travel show. Here we are at another subway. No, but see only the 10th cleanest in the world. We're, we're working on that though. There it is. Just, hey, that's still pretty goddamn this, good. 10th right? a lot world. There's a lot of places. How many garbage. cities in the world are there? The thousands. That's pretty good for <laughs> the 10th. Yeah, we can do better. You can. You absolutely can. Puff puff pass. <laughs> <laughs> How many cities in the world are there? Thousands, huh? There's thousands of cities, There's guys. There's thousands of <laughs> cities, guys. Top 10. Top 10. Hey, that's hometown harassment. All right, Chris, where are we going next, man? Uh, the next game coming up is uh, Two Truths and a Lie. Why don't you uh, Oh, it? yeah. All right, so check it out. Each of us is going to say two truths, two facts that are uh, about themselves, and then a third fact that is a lie, and then the panel is trying to figure out which of those is a lie? And then uh, you get a guess. And if your guess is wrong, you drink or you smoke. Who's starting this off? Fizzle, you feel good? Yeah. Um, Let's hear those facts. Okay. I was conceived in Ohio. Okay. I've been in a high-speed car chase with a police officer. Holy shit. And I'm a malaria survivor. Whoa. Um, fuck. Okay, malaria survivor, but see, I... The high-speed chase sounds crazy, but I feel like with this game, sometimes... It's a trick. Right, it's right. A trick? Sometimes you go with, like... A born the, in Ohio? The, right, the, the conceived in Ohio. Um, conceived in Ohio. Right. Does it take nine months to get to Fort Myers? <laughs> <laughs> Small bad math here. <laughs> oh, you got her laughing, so that, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a tell of a lie. She's also buzzed out of her head right now. You probably wait. Yeah, but, you know, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, just... Just, yeah, you don't even have to wave keys. Just wave. <laughs> Just say hello. Like, I honestly believe that you were in a high-speed chase because I think you were the kind of person... So Chris's makes, vote is high-speed chase. I'm going to say, I say the truth is the high-speed chase. Don't speed. reveal it yet. So what are you, what are you, what are you feeling? Stone-faced. Which, which one are you feeling? I'm, I'm thinking... I'm just going to take I'm, the third. I'm going to say that she... Uh, the, the, the fake one is right in the middle. 
I'm going to say that she was never in a high-speed chase. You're both taking high-speed chase as the fake. I don't see her doing uh, anything high-speed. No, no, my, mine's... I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take... I'm going to take... Malaria Survivor. Fizzer? I was actually conceived in Kentucky. Oh, fuck! Steve, you called it! I was saying it! It's a good trick, though. Damn it, that's everybody. I was being chased yeah. with I was a police right. officer. Did and... you know you were being chased? Yes. <laughs> and I, I, told... thought, I thought he would give up. Really? What? Yeah, I was like. You were actually running? Well, I wasn't driving, but I was telling the poor driver, just speed up, speed up. Maybe just you'll escape, get some... it'll be fine. Yeah, just horrible influence. And um... How old were you? 17? Okay, so you didn't get really in trouble. No, he was like, you'll never get into college. I'm like, I already did, full right Ah, suck it! Um, <laughs> of course you got to college. So yeah, then, and then malaria, huh? Yeah, and I, I, had, I got malaria in India. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And that seems like And they like say it once you rough. get it, it just, it, it always stays with you. Now, emotionally, or? <laughs> yeah! Okay, there it is, yes. yeah, okay. Is that true? Emotionally? Do you feel right. it? <laughs> Yeah, you know, just it's, coursing it's, through the we veins. Have, we have a relationship now. Okay. I have a complicated oh. relationship with my malaria. <laughs> That's hilarious. How did you get malaria? <clears throat> Mosquito. Word. Oh man. That's how people get it. That's the weird thing. I'm like, you know especially in Florida. I mean, we've all, you know, you're, we're all from Florida here. You see mosquitoes the size of a fuck quarter land on you. Just got, yeah. You ever slap one? And they're just blood all over your leg all of a sudden. Oh and yeah, I thought, yeah. I had malaria. Oh, yeah. I don't even get a malaria in America anymore. No, you didn't. You can. She you get didn't. anything in America. She got it in the I can get like coke. That. All right. You can and we've taken a turn. America. Chris, why don't you tell us some lies and truths about yourself? Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was involved in an arms deal when I was 25. I sold guns. I have won $10,000 on a game show. And I have lost... Over 160 pounds in my entire life. Now, now we got a lot of things going on. I know Chris pretty person? well. Yeah. He said arms deal. Yeah. Involved in an arms deal. I know Chris for a very long time, and he has been involved with uh, a lot of illegal activity. Yeah. Um, okay. But I also. <laughs> I mean, that's just. Like I also know he's been on game thing. shows before. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are you guys feeling? You got any ideas? Running around your head? Yeah, they, they're all so... Well, I was going to... They're all so believable. The, yeah. Well, the arms deal thing, illegal right. activity, that's just that's just a part of growing up in Florida. Right, I yes, think. exactly. So, it's, it makes a lot of sense. Wasn't... Yeah, just you're so... I think that's very possible. That we just... Involved. Someone just left. Rachel left. Rachel left, yeah. guys, and now here we are. Right? Just walk Some out. Some people don't want to be witness. I know. To... It's okay. What do you, so let's get our guesses out. Uh, Lachlan? I'm gonna say that you uh, you never won ten thousand dollars. Okay, that's and Fizzer. Oh shit! Um, what was the last one? Just wait. I've lost a, a total of 160 pounds in my life. So you could just switch the number. It could actually be like 162, right. yeah. and then that's what makes it's tricky. Right. But it's strategy. So I I don't know like because that's what you strategy. Strategy. She strategized. Strategy. Strategy. She changed the little. The Did strategy. I switch but it? But it is tragedy. Too. <laughs> it's right. tragic strategy. It's tragedy that. Tra strategy. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with tragic. <laughs> tragic. You're doing the weight. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the weight because going I with think the weight. Because I'll take the third. Yeah, I'm the take, numbers. I'm gonna take the guns. Okay. I'm gonna take so, the guns. You don't believe that I won money. You don't believe that I lost the weight. And you don't believe that I. I know you sold so many drugs, but I yeah. don't think you sold any weapons. Ah, uh, the lie was. Uh, the guns. So hey, all so right. I'm still going to take a drink. I won $10,000 on Celebrity Name Game, and I've legit lost uh, probably more than 160 pounds. Uh, but that's not 160. That's, but Chris is a man who yeah, works yeah, yeah. in... Lachlan, you got some, you got some but we Congratulations. got to do, let's do the three Larry, here. That's dope. Off and on, off and on, up and down. Um, I was inspired to, to start performing stand-up comedy from watching Star Trek The Next Generation. I've been to prison. For, I've been to jail for a parking ticket. And I love to read. <laughs> I'm going to jump right out of the gate and say that it's reading. What? I'm going to take reading as the lie.
I look, I don't look like a reader. No, it's not that. I just don't think anybody reads anymore. Oh, man. Reading. I love reading. <laughs> I, mean, I'm just, I feel like I've been taking the third every time. I'm going to jump out and pick one. I'm going to say that Lachlan does not love to read. Read books, guys. No, I think it's the first one. I think you were, in, you were not inspired to watch Stand you don't Up. Think, you don't think? I think the first one's a lie. Right, you think that he doesn't like Star Trek. I, the timing doesn't match up because when Next Gen was on. I feel okay. like you're already doing Stand Up at that point. What? Read, read books. Next Generation is fucking... <laughs> what are you doing? Open them. Think. Okay. What was Fizzle? the second one? The second one was... Um, not reading. What was the second one? Oh boy. Do you ever, you know, the worst thing to say to someone when they're reading? What are you reading? <laughs> oh, get the fuck out. He's of really me. selling this reading thing, guys. All right, go ahead. What was the second one? Fuck it, reading. Choosing reading as well. Yeah. What's the lie? I don't read. I don't yeah! read. I want to. Nailed it. I want to. I just can't open it. <laughs> I knew how much you were you fucking doing? leading. I get with the it. books on tape and they read uh, it to I'm you. I'm still gonna take a drink. That's hilarious. But I, I um, mm. yeah, there was an episode of Star Trek Next Generation when I was a kid, and Data, who's the android, decides to turn the holodeck into a stand-up comedy club. That is a fucking great episode. Do you remember that episode? Hell yeah, I remember that episode. And that, I was watching Evening at the Improv, and then that was more mainstream than Evening at the Improv, and seeing stand-up comedy for the first time on Main Street TV, I made the jump that that is actually a success, an opportunity. Uh, it's... It's it's more you can be successful and right. you can be like Data, and everybody wants to be like Data. That's my opinion. I, I love so. Star Trek. Me too. Fuck yeah. Nice. And you <laughs> thought he wasn't into. All right, all right. So I got I'll do my my three. Um, <clears throat> in high school, I played uh, baseball and football. Uh, <laughs> I uh, in college, I wrecked my car into uh, six trees. Uh, I totaled it completely. Totaled it. And I have had a threesome. Oh, man. <laughs> the, the third one's just sand in the eyes. I believe it. He's a dirty bitch. Uh, the, uh, the, the threesome is him and another girl. And another guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm too? You're Fuck too. you, luck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even put that together. I, I, I wasn't going to be. He's him. quick. Um, what did you say? Um, I already know my pick. Because I know them well enough. I think I know there's something about You know the answers. I think, yeah. You think so? So I you think, don't want to reveal things to the rest? Yeah. Uh, okay. But I, can I go ahead and make my decision? Go ahead. Uh, I know you played football, but you've never once mentioned playing baseball. So I think this is a half-tiered lie, but it still makes it a lie nonetheless. God, you're good. I don't even know if that's true, but it sounds so fucking true. <laughs> I'm a confidence man. He nailed you, too. Yeah. I'm going to say you didn't ever crash your car into a tree just because you, f you blew through that second one. Yeah, I'm going to say the tree thing, too, because that's a lot of fucking trees, and you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're still here. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely that I did not play baseball in high school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I went with your tactic of like strategy. making a little change. No, he yes. legit yeah, like a little smashed change. his fucking car into a mm -hmm. bunch of trees. They found him half naked. He I woke didn't up. even find the car. Yeah, I, he I, woke I, up I wrecked naked. my car into a, into a group of trees uh, in a blackout. <laughs> I wandered off from the car. I woke up without pants on in the middle of a field. Didn't know where I was. Didn't I know how realize. I got there. And then uh, they found my car like two weeks later. Um, and then I had to go there with my ex-girlfriend now and my mother and uh, pick the car up. And it was completely wrecked. Uh, and I just gathered my things out of it. And then I had the worst car ride back to my house with them in the front seat crying and yelling at me. <laughs> Calling me an idiot over and over again. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of fun. The way the car was smashed, he describes the car being smashed up. Oh, I should be dead. You had to have been ejected. I think I, I think I, I think what happened is, is that did you, I wrecked the car. Do you think and you then I got out? out? And then, no, no, no. I wrecked it, got out of it, then the trees fell on it. Oh, it my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I stumbled out at the right time. I timed it well. <laughs> timed it well. I would have But not a, ba not a baseball guy. And then I've done just a lot of drugs. So, you know, threesomes happen. Yeah. Nice, so I'm just walking in a room with mm. Two other dudes. That'll wrap up this segment. Hey, how's it going, Instagram? Everybody give it a thumbs up over here. Hey! Are we video? Are we just talking to it? All right. Oh, we're, well, then don't freeze. Because it's even cut that burp out. <laughs> you cut that burp out. Just no, no, no. We'll keep the burp. Let's move on from this, but what do we got? Oh, What's we're going to introduce our, uh, our fun segment, Wasty. Yeah! Oh, my God. This is our favorite thing. Munchy foods are just part of getting fucked up. 
And um, what like we that. do is we make. Uh, go ahead. Tim. Yeah, go ahead. No, no. I, I like 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 the edamame. Do you have the edamame or the? Oh no. You get the yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be, It's not. Sweetheart. <laughs> oh no! Look at who your hosts are, bud. Yeah, yeah. It's you not. Know. It is not Nothing gonna be healthy at all. <laughs> Organic celery and yes. carrots uh, uh, chopped up. Welcome to a segment fuck? we like to call uh, wasting. I hope you enjoyed watching us make this delicious treat. Now we're going to dive into it, gang. Uh, let's get all the glasses out of the way and indulge in these life-size bagel bites. Chris, what was the nickname we gave this? Uh, I forget, actually. We got it? Somebody gave it a nickname? Yeah, all right, yeah. Big bagel bite. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just take mine. Yeah, let's dive into this. Everybody going to get in it? All right. Help yourself. So, yeah, if Thank you can you. see, if you open it up, there's, like, mozzarella cheese, the pepperoni, and it's, it's, it's going to be delicious. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Be great with some, like, quinoa pesto. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Mm. Look at him! Of course he eats well. Mm. Pretty damn good, right? Mm -hmm. You look like George Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> old George Harrison? Young. That... Young, my sweet lord, George Harrison. He used to look old. He looked good, too, though. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's good. <laughs> Don't you hate when you don't watch the cooking show and they start saying mmm before they really <laughs> get into it? They're like, mmm. Come on, bro. It don't work like that, yeah. You gotta wait. Oh my god. That's really good. Again, I feel like everything. I feel like I always want to use the word decadent whenever I'm describing any of the things we're making. You know. We, should, we had a different episode. We made a thing that was like a pizza burrito. Mm -hmm. We essentially took a frozen pizza and then. Filled it with pepperoni and mozzarella cheese and made like a calzone out of it. This is reminiscent of it, but it's not. Uh, said reminiscent? I said reminiscent. It reminds me sort of of it, but at the same time, it has, it's a different. Uh, it has subtle notes. It has subtle notes of other, other things. Uh -huh. It's a bagel with a mm. bunch of pepperonis on it. Yeah, it is. This is the shit that when you look in your fridge and go, I got pepperonis, I got bagels. Exactly. Super this. easy to make. And a fun turn on it. Toast the bagel before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do that next time <laughs> for your guests. For the guests. So were these not toasted? Mm -mm. You know, I feel Just like heated. I feel like yeah, heated by what? Hot breath? Like <laughs> no, I think you're in the microwave. We always we were just using There's the microwave. There's a break room. They put it on the microwave and then they press three. Yeah, yeah they give it like a nice three little seconds. Touch. No, I feel like I would have enjoyed this a lot more if I didn't accidentally walk in on him in the kitchen uh, making it with the cheese whiz. I just you know if you don't know it's cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. There's it's cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. It. Yeah, it's cheese. I love it, man. It's good. Mm -hmm. See, that, yeah. it's too much. Ignorance is more too how much. Many day, yeah. 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 Question, how many day cleanse are you gonna have to go on after you eat this? Well, I'm definitely gonna have to. Get the recipe from somebody. I got, we got it. We got you, bud. It's basically, it's a, Bagels, you stab it with a cheese whiz bottle. And just fill it. It's you like just stab stuff. it as many times as you can. Mm. With a cheese whiz. Is that honey? And then you open it. There is no honey. Is that like, honey? It tastes like honey. Notes uh, of a. Uh, I can't breathe. Is that saffron? It will breathe better. I taste saffron. Mm. This is good because my doctor said I'm not getting enough xanthan gum. <laughs> <laughs> so. mm. Oh, 
shit. Oh, I want to get this anthem gum in. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. I take xanthan gum supplement. <laughs> Uh, well, guys, it, it's still delicious, and I think that's mm. what really matters. Chris and I are finishing ours. Right. Uh, I've ripped into mine, and I... I'm not uh, asking you to finish it, please. Fine, I will. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. I think there was pizza sauce mine. on it, too, was there? Yeah. We, we went the whole route. All right. My favorite segment's up next. We're doing it? Yes. All right. We got to clear out. This we're gonna jump into, be your own bartender. One more bite. We get it, enjoy yourself. So it is, um, they're gonna give us uh, a name of a beverage. We're all gonna try and make it with the best of our abilities. They're gonna give us like a, a little hint. Everybody try and make the, uh, the drink. And then I'm gonna taste all of them. And I'm gonna pick a favorite, like the, the best made drink. <laughs> and then we'll also find out who made it the closest. Make sense? Yeah. Excellent. I have done pretty well. Okay, let me get some of these other. Mm. Any bartenders? Yeah, hey, you guys are going to be bartenders right, right now. Be your own bartender, BYOB. I be mean, like a, a professionally, has, has anyone ever had to? Uh... No. Oh, yeah, do you have bartender training? I do. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. Everybody's it's in trouble. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it in, in a long time, but that was 10 years of my life. Yeah, let's really? get some ice in all these cups. Yeah, yeah. I mean. So we're gonna be give. Uh, we're gonna be given a I minute. Didn't enjoy it, but I, this was the mixology part's fun. I mean, that's what I think the true sign of a real bartender is. Anybody can make a rum and coke. Ice. Yeah. Can I have a glass too as well? Yes, yes. I'll pass them down. It's, it's right over there. Nice. Yeah. There we go. But here you go. Grab a, Thank you. Grab a couple. Grab that one and a, a couple more. Grab that one. <laughs> the little one. Yeah. That big one. Oh, gotcha. And then grab that one. That should be good. Grab me some ice water there. down this more real dropping. quick. Thank you. Hey, a little more. <coughs> Give my. All right, let's my do this. Mixer. I'm excited. All, All right, right let's hear good. that. Uh, let's hear that. Um, that drink name and our clue. And guys, sorry, go ahead. Today's cocktail is a tequila sunrise, sunrise, which gained notoriety after Mick Jagger began drinking it, and the Rolling Stones dubbed their 1972 tour the Cocaine and Tequila Sunrise Tour. <laughs> that, they called it that? That's pretty awesome. Can we start? God, Wait, no, no, no. It's a minute and a half. Uh, so we have our clue. We know, I mean, the name has it in it. <clears throat> so we have a minute and a half, gang. So I know we're all going to be diving for that tequila. Um, and we'll start that minute and a half right now. Their latest tour is called the Pepto Biz <laughs> and All Brand Tour. How about no? It's the In Bed Before Nine Tour. <laughs> All right, guys, first show's at noon. Second show's right, so at 12.15. I'll be making it however we want it. Yeah. Okay. Also, re realize oh, I are have Are you making to it too? Realize, yeah, everyone's making oh. it. Realize I have to drink it, so if you feel like making a great drink that's not that, I will have it. Or if you feel like making a terrible drink that you know I have to drink, that's also fun. I feel like Lachlan could probably make a very bad cocktail if he chose to <laughs> with the bartending experience. Chris, you want to hand me that tequila? We're running out of time. Quickly! How much time do we have? A minute and a half. We're all in trouble. We still have a minute and a half. No, no, that time has started, gang. Keep moving. Oh man, Lachlan's already got the shakedown. This is what's up. I'm very excited. Chris has won every single episode so far. He's three and zero. Oh, so I'm pumped about. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds, gang. Where is? Uh, what are you looking for, bud? Uh, I'm looking for the uh, grenadine. Oh, right there, bud. 30 seconds, there's gonna be a buzzer. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, goddammit. I'm not done! Hurry! Hurry! You, I poured it in the wrong cup, I think! How did I have this cup? Oh, this smells. JC, I made it just the way you like it. Uh, we're done. Uh, we're done, guys. I just wanna eat an orange. <laughs> you got a stir stick? Uh, I don't have a stir stick. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. Okay, let's uh, let's let's bring them all out front here. Let the camera get a gander. Oh my! Oh me! Oh me! Oh my! Jesus! 
I am very excited about drinking Lachlan's drink. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I want to take <clears throat> Lachlan. Now I'm going to get one of the oranges for real. These oranges are okay, good. Okay, so, um, so <laughs> let's start. Cope, uh, explain your beverage, and then so, I'll try yours. I, you know, I, I knew what a teal sunrise was. I want to do mine a little bit more uh, heavy grenadine, so that's why it's got the redder cup. It looks like you just poured <laughs> grenadine into a glass. But there's tequila and a little bit of OJ. I think you're going to like it. I'm, I also licked the rim, since it's tequila, with a little bit of lime. Oh, he licked the rim. I, uh, he, I, I heard lick the rim. Um, <laughs> this looks like it's all grenadine, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. No. Oh, Are you going to the whole thing? Jesus. He's not going to drink the whole thing. <sighs> yeah, it's just grenadine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a mouthful of grenadine. It literally has a soup. It's like clam chowder. Oh. <laughs> i take another sip mm. to punish myself. Dude, this is... You deserve it. It's so syrupy. That's that hobo fuel right there. <laughs> uh, this, uh, if a fucking homeless man drank this, he would literally be di diving oh, around murdering He'd be waking people. me up all night. <laughs> screaming at my backyard. Oh, good God. Uh, Lachlan. You want, my, you want my drink, dude? Yes. Uh, explain it. Uh, what was your technique? What did you go with? Like I, I made you a tequila sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating bartender. Oh, my God. It looks fantastic. The layers? Is anybody looking at the layers on this fucking thing? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Normally, you'd stir it up a little, but uh, I think it's a tequila sunrise. Jesus Christ. It's perfection. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, it's going to be tough to beat. Can I try Please? it? Yeah, absolutely. Can I try? I just want to. It's Hell yeah, wild. everyone can have it. Please, I want to try. I want, I want you to try Chris's. No, no, no. Here you go. <laughs> no, no, no. Ugh. Please, Lachlan, take a sip of his. You didn't lick the rim, right? No. no, he 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 licked it with a lime. That's fantastic. It's a lot sweeter, but I get I get it. He looks like he's a sweet tooth. I, I do have a sweet tooth. Uh, I think it's, Ooh, it's that is not bit. as good as I thought it was. No, it's be. bad. I, I should right. on that one. Up. Yeah. So hold that up. Uh, go ahead, describe your beverage. Tequila. It's just a shitload of tequila and orange juice. Shit, a shit ton of tequila. I like the orange and garnish. Orange yeah, juice. I did a garnish because I don't, you know. Oh, you know what? I'm just doing the best for, I I'm, gonna, can. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the garnish because I think that's what drinks are for. Just dive that in there. Mm. As it's it was intended. Tequila sunrise. <sighs> Tastes basically like a, a screwdriver. Yeah. With tequila. With, with tequila. Not bad. Not bad. Drinkable. JC made his own. Absolutely drinkable. And I made one myself. So who judges yours? Um, you can judge mine. I'm going to sip it anyway. It is, um, I did tequila, cranberry, orange juice, and a splash of soda water. Ooh, that actually sounds very lovely. I did add some soda water too. I should have added more soda water. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Now, what are the? Oh, also, Lachlan, just say the ingredients yeah, because you're going to be right. Uh, the, the ingredients are te tequila, orange juice, and grenadine. Yeah. There it is. And are those the? In fact, the ingredients. Those are the ingredients. It's Yay! Always, Lachlan wins. But I it like it. Uh, go ahead. It says it's served unmixed to preserve the color of each layer with tequila, then orange juice, and then grenadine. Show that. Show that. Where's that Lachlan drink? Hold that up. That's Just a tequila sunrise, tequila sunrise, friends. Um, I like that you're saying that you enjoyed mine better. Look though, at that, huh? dude. Is there a garnish on that? I think there can be if you want there to be. There's a cherry inside it. I've always been. Whoa! See, Lachlan, we, you're the first bartender we've had on. And I think that's uh, my vote 100%. Uh, Lachlan won something? Made, made, the, made the beverage <laughs> correctly, everybody. You beat hey, me, buddy. That's something. Oh, um, your, your, uh, you guys your, are good your, sports. Your, uh, your, 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 uh, your prize is I'm going to drink the entire drink. Dude, his drink's good. Too. Your drink's really good. I know, too. I like it. Yeah. Here, cheers. You drink mine. You have some of no, mine. I'm, 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 I'm going right to stick to beer because, you know, we're, we're, we go to the dark side. Cheers, gang. Hey, I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming out of the show. Yeah, wow. Well, That's been impaired, gang. Yes, yes. guys. That's it. Oh, real quick, where can we, uh, where can we find you guys? Oh, at? yeah, plug your stuff. Oh, shit. Cool. Um, Fizza Dasani, F I Z, or everything's at Fizza Dasani, F I Z A A Dasani, D O S A N I. So what It'll be written out so you'll be able to yeah, find just, it. Bam. Just read the shit. Read, read the, the shit, screen. You That's fucking fine. idiots. Yeah. Where's the, uh, where's be the, so mean. Where's Sorry. The, where's the reading going to appear? And I can point to it. You just go to. Just point everywhere. LachlanPatterson.com. <laughs> oh, LachlanPatterson.com. And then right or there. Or Lachlan Patterson. There. <laughs>
And there, Lachlan Patterson. You just there. go right to this com. and go there. And you can check me out at Instagram at Lockjaw at Instagram. <laughs> That's, my <handle. laughs> That's my handle at Instagram. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at JC Stand Up, on Instagram at JC Comedian, and Chris Cope, uh, bud. You can find me on Twitter.com. Uh, <laughs> Twitter.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, look for his fucking name, everybody. At Chris Cope Comedy for Instagram and everything else, my website and uh, Twitter. Thank you guys so much for coming in uh, and enjoying another episode of Impaired. Give it up one more time for Fizzit Dasani and Lachlan Patterson coming in and killing it. Thank Thanks you guys. for coming, guys. guys. Take it easy. Thank Have you. a nice day. Thank Love you. You were great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's Thank what's up. That was fun, bro. That was so Thank much fun. You.